Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to see how you can install SAP Business One on your standalone laptop or on your PC without the need for paying monthly subscriptions or anything like that. You can just completely use SAP Business One for lifetime for free. But before starting this video, let me tell you that this video only involves the complete procedure of installing SAP Business One on your PC if you already have the software. If you don't, you can grab my course from the description, which includes complete training with software just for $9.99. Now, because the software is very heavy in size, so it cannot be shared over here. You have to grab it from my Udemy course, which is in the description. So let's continue to our today's video. In this video, we will see how you can download and install SAP Business One from virtual machine in your personal laptop or uh, in your PC without the need to access it remotely. So then you will have unlimited access to the software even after the completion of training because it doesn't depend on the internet and you don't have to buy any subscription. To download the software and the virtual machine, I have attached this link with this video. So you can just download this and just open it. Now these two are zip files. So first I'll click on this. just. Copy this, control C, paste it in Chrome. So this is download link generated. Click download. Now it will ask you that this is 14 GB of data. So this is too large to scan for viruses. Would you still like to download it without scanning for virus? Yes, download anyway. Now it will take some time to download. So just sit back and relax. Since I have already downloaded it, I'll press cancel and I'll show you this one. Copy and paste the link and click on download. This is 322 MB of data. Download anyway. So it will start the downloading. Now after both of the files are downloaded, it will show up something like this in the downloads. Windows 7 2018 and VM SAP 2019. After that, if you have WinRAR software installed and you can see this book style of icons, then you can simply right click and extract to Windows 7 2018. And similarly for this, extract to software's VM and SAP 2019. Otherwise, if you don't have this book sign showing, even then you can see by right clicking extract to folder option. So I'll start extracting this. Now again, it will take a lot of time to extract this. So just sit back and relax. Now I'm skipping this part as well because I've already extracted it. Now the next step is extracting the other zip file that is software's VM and SAP 2019, which contains the software of the virtual machine. So right click and extract software's VM and 2019. It will also take some time. Now, after the unzip is complete, first we will install the virtual machine and then we will load that uh, virtual machine with SAP that I've created. So first of all, go to this folder, softwares, VM and SAP 2019 and go in this further folder, VM Workstation folder. Double click and then click yes. Click next. I accept, next. The installation is very simple, just tick next and just untick these, next and next and install. Now the installation is complete. We have to license it. I've already provided you the keys. So word file is attached with it. Just copy this first key, click on license and paste it. Enter. Now this software is registered as well. So the software installation is complete. Let's go to this folder, Windows 7. 
Now the virtual machine means that a complete separate system with a separate windows will run within your system. So it doesn't matter if you have windows 10 or whatever windows version, this windows will load as windows seven and all the softwares will already be installed in it because I have pre-configured this windows. So first of all, we have to mount this virtual machine in the software. To mount that, you have to click on this three boxes kind of icon. Just double click. And it will show up like this. Now you might see this resume this virtual machine option, but for now, I'll just click on from the top, choose power off and discard. Now the SAP uh, Business One software, which is used for training purposes is educational version. That means all the functions in SAP will be enabled and you can use every function possible, but that is valid for only one month. That means, for example, if I installed the software on 1st December 2019, then it will be expired on 31st December 2019, exactly after one month. So whenever you want to run SAP through virtual machine, first you have to change the main system date. That means whenever you want to validate the license, you have to uh, change the date to come between that period. So it will automatically read that the license has still not expired because the time is left. So I'll change the period, right click, adjust date and time. This is Windows 10 options. Then go to date and time, regional formatting, additional date and time, regional formatting, set date and time, and change date and time. Now let's change the date to 30th December 2019, because as I told you that I've installed the software SAP Business One on 1st December 2019. So it has already been expired on 31st December 2019. That's why I need to reverse the date in order to run that. Now let's click on this icon and then click again to set the year first. So that way you can easily go to 2019 and then December and 30th. Okay and okay. First of all, you have to change the date on your main system. After that, once the virtual machine is mounted on the software, then you can just run it directly. Right click run as administrator, yes. And then power on this virtual machine. It will ask you for the prompt that how this virtual machine came in this system. Select I copied it. Now, if you want to use the keyboard and mouse within that virtual machine, then you will click once in this screen. The mouse will go within the virtual machine. Now, if you try to move the mouse, you will not see any movement. So that way you can just press enter. It will work in virtual machine. Now, if you want to pick out the mouse from virtual machine, then press control alt. So in that way, it will come back to your normal Windows software. When you want to go again in virtual machine, click once within this screen. And when you want to get out of this, press control and alternate at the same time. Now let's make it full screen. Now, since it is installed for the first time, it might update some drivers and then enable the full screen on this system. Now the screen flickered and now it's full screen. So it's asking you for the restart. Let's restart it. It will work just like a normal system and normal windows. Whenever you want to minimize it or close it, just press control alt and then you can just minimize this virtual machine to see your main desktop screen or your main windows. And when you want to close it, or suspend it, you can just pause it, or you can click shutdown. Now the Windows is restarted again. Now you will notice that you can see a complete separate system within this virtual machine. This is our main system, and this is the virtual machine system. Separate windows, separate softwares are installed. So it's very useful for big softwares like SAP so that whenever, even if you want to install your windows again, it won't affect virtual machine just to, you have to install the virtual machine software 
and then mount this Windows. So it will have all the softwares pre-installed in the system. So you never have to install and go through a detailed procedure to install SAP Business One. Anyways, now the date of the main system is changed to 30th December 2019. Now let's change the date here as well. Adjust date and time. Change date and time. Now this is option of Windows 7. Windows 7 options is little bit quick. So click here and click again to select the year easily. Go to December and 30th, OK, and then OK. Now this date also changed to 30th December. SAP Business One maintains its database in another software, which is a Microsoft product that is called SQL Server. That means this software will work properly when SAP and SQL Server are connected properly. So to bridge that connection, First, we will enable the service manager. You can find it by clicking on start menu and click service manager and yes. Now you will notice that in the start option, it will appear it's something like this. Now double click, make sure that license manager is played. Right now it is not playing. So you have to click on this green sign to play it. Now we can see stop and pause option. That means now it is played, okay. After that, we will open SAP Business One. Just double click. Now it might take some time. It depends on the RAM you have on the system. It is recommended to have a greater RAM like 8 GB, something like that. And if you have SSD instead of normal hard disk, that is preferred and it will work very good. So otherwise you have to just wait for the process to complete. Don't just make a lot of clicks because this is heavy software, it will take time. Now the main screen appears like this. You might see something different like OEC computers or something like that. First of all, make sure that SAP and SQL Server are properly connected. To verify it, you have to go to change company. Now in change company, if you see any companies appear here, you might see only OEC computers, but if you see any company's names, that means the connection is now proper. Otherwise you won't be seeing any of the company. In which case you have to Cancel it if you don't see any company and exit from SAP. Then you will go to service manager, stop it and play it again. Click OK and then wait for some seconds and then try to execute SAP Business One again. So what it will do, it will refresh that connection between SAP and SQL. That's why the company is not showing because it have to pick database from SQL to show in SAP Business One. Now go to change company. Now I can see these companies. OEC Computers is the sample company, which is for your practice. So to log in, user ID is manager and password is manager. Click OK. Now you can see the system message system date deviates from all company fiscal years create a new posting period that contains the system date. Click OK. Basically it's saying that OEC computer has data and the financial years open from 2006 to 2012. But right now we have 2019. So when SAP reads the system date, it is recommending you to first create the financial years and then you can make some entries. So that's OK. Now the SAP system has started. After the first run of SAP on virtual machine, the second run, whenever you want to repeat this process, whenever you want to open SAP again, the procedure is very simple now. You don't need to close SAP at all. Whenever you want to exit, just hover over this top and you will see this suspend this guest. So in that way, it will pause the current state where SAP and system is paused in the same point. Now let's close system virtual machine. If you want to run your internet now, now because the date is not updated, it might not load properly. It show something like this. So that's why whenever you exit from SAP, you have to change the date back to normal. Adjust date and time, date and time, additional settings, set date and time, change, and then make it 2021 January and 28th. Okay and okay. 
now let's try now it's working fine now whenever you want to start virtual machine again for example you turned off the computer now you just started your main system and now you want to practice on SAP so you have to change the date go to adjust date and time date and time additional date and time set date and time change change the date to 2019 December 30th okay and okay now close make sure the date is okay now run virtual machine workstation pro and since this is in the pause position just resume this virtual machine so the benefit of this is you neither have to load SAP again and wait for the loading time and even you don't have to change the date in the virtual machine because it will immediately sync it with the main system the date of which is already being changed so that's why it will not reverse the date back to 2021 so the pausing is very good now the question is when you can't access the browser how will you see the videos and follow the training so the best possible way to follow the training and practice it on SAP is you can install Udemy app from the Play Store and then log in with the same ID as you did before and you will see that SAP Business One course enrolled there so what you can do is you can watch the videos on your mobile and practice it along in your main system or laptop the main benefit of the Play Store app is you can even download all the lectures to watch it offline so that's the best feature in Udemy app otherwise if you want to install SAP Business One on current dates with complete virtual machine installation by yourself then I will add the video in frequently asked questions you can check it so in that way learning will be very convenient so just download that app and let's continue to our training from the next video